Who are you? What are you doing here? Come with me. You shall not leave. You mustn't go outside of this room. Is that understood? It's the light. They're not fond of light. I must fight the power that lurks within this ship. It is my destiny. I will come for you once this ordeal is over with. Stay here until then. You mustn't go down there. Is that understood, Richard? I should never have gotten aboard this ship. I promised her that I would return one day. I should have just stayed by her side. I wonder how she's doing now. Oh my god, how could I have forgotten about her? Forgive me, Christina. Thank you for telling me. 
I will go to her now. Oh, it's so dark. I locked the door, but she'll still come. Why? Light. Someone. Give me light. been waiting for you. Come here. Please come in. So how goes your journey aboard the ship? It seems pretty fun. You don't have to be scared. I just possess an alien power. I am blind. I created that book you possess as a substitute. I am able to see the world through the book as it travels around the world. Yes, the entire world. <laughs> What's this? You have something interesting. I speak of the sphere you possess. Will you give it to me? Well, in layman's terms, let's just say that it is another type of energy. I have a certain goal I am trying to achieve. I need that sphere. Of course I shall reward you with something that will be of use to you. How about it? Is there a way I can persuade you? Thanks. Here, take this with you. This is a special potion that I've made. It may be weak, but it has the power to cure you when you are possessed. I believe this will be very useful for you. <laughs> with that book, you are able to come here whenever you like. Come again. I'll be waiting. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me give this to you. This stone holds your destiny. 
Take good care of it. It's light. Finally, she won't come here anymore. Everyone died on the day of that great storm. The entities you see aboard the ship are mere shadows. I've been waiting a long time for someone to come and help us. Please, help us. Help this ship. Who are you? Everyone died. Even that fool Ed. He became crazy after he went into that far room. The three of us locked him in, behind the shelf. He was my friend. Ed, I'd like to taste that drink of his again. That damn sailor, he locked the door. I don't care, though. I probably would have done the same, too. What, what is this? This color. It's the same as Ed's drink. <laughs> what the hell? I can't taste a thing. I guess there is no need for a drink when you're dead. <laughs> Hey, can you let Ed out? I threw away one of the metals in the ventilation shaft. The two sisters should have the other two metals.
Don't come any closer. Just turn around and leave. Go! <laughs> You are not a passenger aboard this ship. You're still alive. You've met my younger sister, Diana, right? We are twins. That's why I know. I know everything about her, because she is exactly like me. That demon. It's because of that demon that... Diana. Everything is the same. Everything is the same between us two. Thank you. You are not a passenger aboard this ship. You're still alive. You've met my older sister, Fiona, right? We are twins. That's why I know. Do you know Ed? Ed saw something. That's why he became crazy so suddenly. Please, meet Ed, the man we trapped inside that room. Diana left. I must go too. Oh, that blue stone. It's the same as what Kreia had. So you must have been the one Kreia was waiting for. So you actually found this room. Has Rob told you the reason why I am in here? I saw it happen in that room. I saw the birth of a demon. I lost my mind completely, and I don't remember much after that. Rob, I suppose that drunk fool died too. I want to drink with him again. That girl really isn't here. I can hear her cries coming from within a deep, dark hole. She wants someone to find and free her soul. Make her realize that she shouldn't be here.
gave this to me. I... I don't know. What poison? I don't know anything. Sir William, I don't know anything. <gasps> It's time. That's Sir Williams. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Casino Orpheus. Would you like to hear the instructions? The main game is roulette which is right over there. The object is to guess the number you think the ball will land on. If you guess wrong, then you lose your chips. <laughs> that over there is a slot machine. You must match the patterns or you lose your chips. <laughs> I will give you five chips to start with. Use your chips sparingly. <laughs> what do you want? You're not worthy of sitting here yet. Come back later. The hallway lights? Oh yes, the switch is still broken. I believe that there should be another switch around there. Why don't you try looking for it? <laughs> He's not here. Where did he go? Where did my son go? I'm sorry. The film is already over. After this, well, it's been reserved. Please, come again some other time. I'm sorry. So terribly sorry. He should be here by now. I wonder when that boy's coming. He promised to show that film. I wonder where he is. It was inevitable.
Sir William. He is a dangerous man. I killed Sir Arthur. I saw it. Grandpa William stabbed Mr. Arthur. Mother, I'm scared. Where are you? I can't hear Mother's song. The film. Oh, the boy has died. This then will be the last show, as I've promised. It's not the poison. That knife, the red knife, Sir William's. Sir Arthur was with that knife, not the poison. It, it wasn't my fault. Welcome. Would you like to play a game? Good luck. Hmm. Seems like you have a lot of luck. We've been waiting a long time for someone like you to arrive. Please, visit the far table. This is where the real game begins. I wonder if you can beat her. <laughs> I hope this won't be a big waste of time. The game is blackjack. You start with 100 chips. If you double it, you win. Otherwise, you lose. Shall we begin? <laughs> I can't believe I lost. Well, I haven't played a game that good for years. Of 
course. Right this way. Well then, have fun. I am Arthur, Arthur Rockwell. I'm Hilda Rockwell. You should have already witnessed the reason we are here. Our father, William, the Red Knife, that is how it all began. Within one generation, father was able to make our family filthy rich. And that was all done after he obtained that red stone knife. Our father was a cold person to begin with. But I could see father was slowly converting to evil. Yes, it was as if that red stone possessed him. We were terrified, so we both were planning on killing him on this ship. But our father was thinking the same. He tried to kill us and succeeded because of that knife. A long time ago, beyond that painting, fate was determined. Our father, that knife has destroyed this ship. You are like us, just another prisoner of this ship. I have something to ask of you. I want you to find three more plates like this one here. You will need it in order to reach our father. We will stay and wait for you here. Be careful. That woman lurks beyond here. She will kill you if she finds you. Try to divert her attention. <laughs>
there was a full moon and I was reading a book under the luminous light of the moon. I loved reading at night. It was only then that I could enjoy peace. I died. That midnight, the moon was stained blood red. It was midnight. The blood-stained moon was glaring at me. The bottom of the pool, it's that fish's eye. When the moon emits its luminous red glow, try and insert it. What should I do? It won't move. If I don't fix it, I too will end up like that person. I'm dead. Sir William will kill me. Please, God, help me. It moved. Oh, thank God. My pendant. Our lost memories.
I'll tell you about the red stone. I know everything. It was written in that book. is down there. They haven't even realized that they've already died. I can't leave them behind. You can use that elevator to go down there. Please, save them. Those guys, they're already dead. So you've come all this way. My soul has been uneasy ever since I sent you that letter. I'm no longer the same person I was when I first met that girl. The Red Stone. William, what have I come this far for? There are demons lurking about here. You best leave. I wonder what he's doing. I wish he'd come here quick. Why doesn't he come? Ships are AB-23. The general radio is... BA-13. No... B-A-0-1. It's useless. I won't be able to remember this.
Shut up. Where did the documents go? Oh no, I forgot. My patrol, I have to go. What were you doing? That demon could show up any time. I'm sorry. The telegraph. I'm going to get some rest now. When is the light going to turn on? The combination to the numeric lock should be written in locker four. We won't be able to escape in time. We will all die. What's with these lockers? It opened. The combination is one, six, eight, nine. I must hurry. Why won't it open? We have to hurry, or that demon will. One, six, eight, nine. The numbers should be right. It opened. It finally opened. I must hurry. Finally, the light is on. Everyone will be okay now. What's that sound? It's coming from the control room. The demons. Someone, please. Stop it. My sister. My sister Kriya has been waiting a long time. This is a music box that my sister gave me.
My sister and you have met. Destiny has taken another course. It's quiet. Now I can finally rest. Those guys. They finally left. Thank you. Now I will be able to rest in peace. All of the plates have been inserted. Use the plates. Come, use the plates. We shall excuse ourselves now. Please, seal that stone forever. Oh, yes. So, you finally come. My name is Amelia. I am Arthur's younger sister. You're looking for Crea, right? Yes. She has been waiting for you all this time. Crea's room is on the other side. My father knew how to get inside. But Jack might also know as well. I will give you this. Please, go see Jack. I will stay until the day my father's soul is finally released. I was incapable of stopping any of this. I will make amends. Are you the one? The one who possesses the blue stone? Our family would have been finished were it not for that red stone. That is the reason why I aided my father in his endeavors. I completely forgot when and how I started helping him. Why? Why am I still here? There shouldn't be anything left for me in this world. My sister and I, what about this? Yeah, those were the good old days. <laughs> Adjust the hallway clock to the bird in order to open the room next door. Eleanor, my daughter. My journey has finally come to an end. Destiny shifted its course from the instant I held the red stone. With these hands, I have taken the lives of many innocent people. And what was it that I tried to achieve? I can't remember anything anymore. 
girl, Kreia, was waiting for you. She was fighting for both you and your father. Take a look. is no more. Everything is already in the past. But you might be able to change it. <coughs> the omnipotent power of the Red Stone has taken over your father. Stone. Combine them, and you can stop it. Please.
My father, his soul finally rests in peace. I too shall rest now. So, you've come again. It must have been tough collecting this many. This will be enough. By the way, have you ever had any doubts about why I am so interested in collecting these things? <laughs> I'll show you the answer to that question. This is the rock of all miracles. It has the power to grant you any wish. The greatest treasure of mankind. It is the Devil's Red Stone. This stone belongs to you. We shall meet again when your fate with the other red stone comes to an end. When that time comes, we shall meet again. Richard, come over here. I finally understand now, Richard. I realized it the moment I killed William and got hold of the Red Stone. I had the strongest desire for this power all along. I will become one with this power. The blue stone, even it shall succumb to my powers in this darkness. There is no light here. Not even you or your blue stone will survive. You mustn't leave this alone. Hurry, bring light. The power to change destiny. Gone. Forever. This place won't last long. Hurry. Run to the front of the ship. Come, as I have promised. Come now, inside the sun. Hello. I told you that I would come, didn't I? 
Richard. Behold, you stand before the most omnipotent power man has ever witnessed. The power to shape your fate to your desire with your very own hands. Here, take it with you. This? <laughs> strange. You are indeed a strange man. <laughs> it is goodbye then. I pray that you have a bright future ahead of you. This ship's life is coming to an end. Come. This ship will disappear soon. You are not supposed to be here. Everything is over.